he will have a failed presidency unless he deals honestly with the entitlements programs without cutting, you know, the poor and the wretched and all the rest and all this stuff and getting solvency for Social Security, then, then the scorecard in years to come was he failed. That was Alan Simpson, of course, who along with Erskine Bowles rolled out a new proposal to reduce the deficit by $2.4 trillion over a decade. It would save $600 billion through changes to health care programs and another $600 billion from tax reform. $1.2 trillion would come from cutting discretionary spending. Our own economic guru, Steve Ratner, is here with some more of his charts this morning on income. Steve, what are you looking at? So switching gears to incomes, let's uh, look at some numbers that came out recently based on tax returns that uh, show some pretty amazing things happening with incomes for both the bottom 99%, the top 1%. Some of you may remember that almost exactly a year ago, uh, I showed up here and told you that 93% of all the income gains in 2010 went to the top 1% percent and 37 percent went to the top 0.01 percent which is about 16,000 households those numbers have now been revised and in fact 103 percent of all the income gains in 2010 went to the top 1 percent meaning that the other 99 percent on an inflation adjusted basis actually saw their incomes go down. Wow. And then if you uh, put that together across a number of years, what you see with the revisions is that over the 2010 to 2011 period, that should be 2011 at the bottom, 121 percent of all the income gains went to the top 1 percent, meaning again the bottom 99 percent went down. And you can see back over the last 20 years what percent of those income gains went to the top 1%? You can see at 121%, it is almost double what it has been in any other period of recovery. Let's leave that up for just a second, TJ, if you would. So is that jump, even just from 2009 up to this period from 2010 to current, is that the stock market? Why, why are the gains so pronounced? It is a combination of uh, certainly the stock market and just, and just the fact that high-valued uh, CEOs and high-paid uh, high executives get paid more and, and have, and have you know, the so-called knowledge economy are able to get more. And then this, this relentless, and this is the point that we talk a lot about jobs, we don't talk enough about incomes, this relentless downward pressure on the average worker competing across the globe um, uh, not being able to get wage increases, what's happening with unions, we're now talking about the minimum wage um, and so forth. And so what's also interesting, if you look at the, at the 2011 numbers which came out, you see something, a slightly different pattern, which is the bottom 99% still going down, down minus 1.3%. They lost another $150 on their average income. But to your point, Willie, the top has actually got, went, went down a little bit in, uh, in that year as well. It's 0.6% for the top 1%, 6.7% for the top 0.01%. Nobody is going to take up a collection for these guys. They have $23 million of average income. But this is probably a function of the fact that the stock market did not have a great year in 2011. But those charts, those two combined charts, that is a prescription for social dynamite. I mean, the fuse is burning. And, and the fuse is burning, and I will tell you, when we sit here a year from now and look at the next set of numbers, stock market was up 16% last year, you're going to see those top income brackets surge, They're in my going to be opinion. higher. The same pressure that's pressing downward on the middle class is, is lifting, it's exactly. lifting the top. That, that's so. exactly the point. Okay, so what do you do from a government point of view? What's the first thing you can do if it comes from the government? Well, the president's trying to do stuff that's at the margin, the minimum wage, uh, training, and so on. What you've got to do over time is redress the balance. Tax policy, raising the capital gains rate, which we raised a little bit, but in my opinion, not enough. I, I'm not here to redistribute everybody's income, but government can play more of a role in trying to bring the two ends together than what it's doing. A lot to think about there, Steve. Thanks.